Hey friends, today we are going to know about how to make a connection between Python and HTML. To make our Python as a CGI scripts, we have to configure our local server. So here I am using a WAMP server. CGI script is nothing but a common gateway interface. It processes the collected information from HTML document. So first, you need to open your local server. So in that server, here I am finding a configuration file that is httpd configuration. So in that file, first search for an option word. So here is the line. So at the end of this line, you need to add plus execute CGI. So after this and another change in the line of had handler. So this is the line. At the end of the line, you need to add dot .py and if there are any um, hash symbol in front of this line, uh, you need to remove it. So after changing this, you need to save this file carefully and close it. Once again, you refresh your server. So first I'm going to write a HTML document. Uh, so here I'm just using an, uh, three text boxes to get the input. So I'm saving this file in our WAMP server. So here I'm creating a new folder uh, named as sample. So in that folder, I'm saving this HTML file as index.html. So again, I'm creating a file to get an image of this product. Um, so the name of this file is giving a file name and placeholder is image. And third, I'm using a text area to get a description of this product. So approximately I am giving the column is 100 and rows 25, okay 20 and name of this tag is description. Okay so finally I am adding an input box, submit box. Type equal to submit and the name is sir and the value is register the product. So yeah, I'm also like to add some um, headings which is product registration so 
here I'm adding an attribute for the form tab. The method is post, and the action is our Python file. Um, so this is our uh, CGI script. So I'm keeping our name as show dot py, and the one more important attribute is encryption type. That is NCT type. So in that I'm adding a multi part slash form data. And also I'd like to add some styles to this page. Okay, so open a browser to view this page, localhost, sample, okay. so we need to add some break tags. And uh, I'm making this whole thing to the center of the page. And now it looks good. And second, now we're going to create a show.py file. So I'm saving this file as show. Py. The first line of this CGI is hash exclamation symbol and we have to type a path name that is where the python file is installed the python software is installed so in my system it um, it was resided in this uh, user folder so in this app data local programs python and python third. So here is my installation path. So I'm just copying this path and pasting here. At the end of this line, I'm just adding an python execute file. So and the second line is we need to import sorry we need to import cgi script and os so here os used it to um, get a file uh, from the input box and then uh, we need to mention the content of this file Such is HTML. Also, you can add some new line characters and uh, some carries written. So, 
so i'm creating a variable form and also i'm uh, using an cga package here i'm calling a, a function name field storage so using this form a variable using this form variable we need to get value from our html document and the name of the fields is important here uh, the name of the first field is p name and the second one is file name and third one is uh, des so here the name of the first uh, field is p name so before saving this value to the variable uh, we need to change it as string so I'm keeping the value in the pn variable and then again uh, we have yes, to place the description of the product dot h value and finally we need to place the file that is file name and the file name of the file can be get using a package called os dot path dot base name using a variable fle dot file name so now we are opening the file um, so in our uh, vamp server folder that is c colon vamp w so here is my here is our folder sample so here i'm creating an a uh, folder called them so i'm just copying this path and pasting here so we need to change the slash otherwise we need to put a double slash so at the end of this we need to add one more slash and a plus symbol and the file name so the mode of opening this file is wb writing in the binary mode ending a write function inside it we need to call a read function okay so now we can use a html code to display the input that we get in our uh, index.html uh, so we already mentioned the content type content type as html so we can use html tags using a print function in our python um, here i'm using a body tag and the first line is product name and uh, slash n and one small bracket inside it we need to mention the uh, we have to uh, i'm mentioning this in brackets um, and the percentage symbol is from so i'm closing the h1 tag and the variable is pn and second print statement here I'm displaying the image of the file and the source is from temp folder slash percentage s I'm closing the image tag and it is from the fn and last we need to print um, 
description percentages okay and finally we need to close all the tabs So here I'm making all the content to the center. Okay, that's it. We finished the program. And again, we go to the browser. We just add a value. So here I'm adding a Redmi Note 7 Pro. And so once again, open your browser and uh, I'm adding a image and text. So for any child search here for more details and register the product so here is our solution thank you